Welcome to the application delivery how-to video series. My name is Roberto Casula. Today we're going to cover the topic, how to canary update your GSLB deployments. A common issue when deploying GSLB is the potential for a global application outage caused because a faulty GSLB configuration change replicates automatically to all sites. With Avi's canary update feature, we can avoid this problem. In this demo, we're going to see how this is achieved. Here is our GSLB configuration. We have our five sites that are all up and synced to the latest configuration checkpoint. We're in manual replication mode, which means that the Canary Update feature is available. Here we have our GSLB virtual service. Again, this is currently up and available in all sites. I'm now going to make a configuration change and deliberately choose a faulty configuration. I have a health monitor here uh, that has an error in its configuration. Now, when I save this configuration, the change is going to take effect on the leader GSLB site, which is Tokyo. So we shall see this site uh, will fail when that health check fails. As you can now see, that site is now down. However, the application is still up and running in the other sites. This configuration change that we made has not replicated to these other sites, and therefore a global outage of the application has been avoided. The operator can now go and correct the misconfiguration, restore the service in Tokyo, make a correct configuration change, and then we can push that good configuration out to the uh, other sites. Let's go ahead and make that configuration correction. Let's replace our faulty health monitor with our good health monitor again. And now in a few moments, we'll see the Tokyo site come back online. There we go. And now let's go to our GSLB configuration again and see how we can actually push this good change out to our other sites. First of all, we go to Federation Checkpoints. You can see currently we have CP1 as our current checkpoint, indicated by the green star here. I'm going to go and create a new checkpoint. I'm going to call it CP2. And this checkpoint contains the configuration change that we've just made. I'm now going to mark that as our active checkpoint. And now I can go into each of my sites and push the configuration change to sync to that latest checkpoint. There we go. And now that configuration change has been made across all sites. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to check out the other great videos in our application delivery how to series.